believe they're giving us seven points in Lexington. That's fair. <laughs> Reasonable. I mean, which of the two teams won the Baja Mar Hoops Challenge? You, you explain it to me. Uh, only you're one of them. You're I mean. a blue blood. Nobody wants to hear you on the University of Miami basketball oh, team. Oh, this Mike. is this is amazing. What's this happening? Is so tonight. bad. This Big is a game, couple of prestige programs getting together. Blue bloods. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Jeremy, this late in the season? Are you, yeah. are you kidding me? It's I about, cannot it's, take it yeah, anymore. I mean, it's like this is usually preseason stuff. This is scheduled. Yeah. A true road game with mm. no preseason hoopla around it. Here we go. <laughs> Chris Cody. Wait, why is it called preseason tournaments when it's very clearly regular season? Yeah. They Ridiculous. count against your record you're right i don't yes. understand i never understood that right when There's they look back at the season when they look back at the resumes they will look at this win or loss for miami of course well it's got to be it's going to be a win I it's know. weird right. i don't know what the odds makers are thinking DraftKings. what are we, what are we doing all right Six and we're and not half we're not in the local <laughs> hour anymore but we might as well but this is it. a national we're story it's well, kentucky well, no, I mean, but this is miami it's no. kentucky that where i come from that means something this is well we have not look man it's been unfortunate we have spent many years down here not having the big stories the big national stories in sports but uh, I can't believe I'm saying this on a Tuesday night in December. Okay, winter just got here. It's 60 degrees out. I can't believe what I'm about to say. Huge basketball night in town because yeah. you've got Kentucky and Miami. Miami's a dog on the road. This Miami team thinks it wants to be Kentucky. This Miami team has made a couple of Final Fours recently. They made one last Final, year. Did Kentucky? An I mean, Elite Eight, yeah. rather. Yeah. A couple of Elite Eights, one yeah. Final Four. Yeah. And, and don't forget the Baja Mar Hoops Challenge. Yeah, right. and and, our, and what Mike Ryan is calling, and I was stunned to hear him say this. I didn't even understand it. It was as if he were speaking another language. He has not cared about the heat enough for a couple of seasons now, even though he's irrational. But he called a regular season game tonight a do-or-die heat game. Yes. That's absurd. Do-or-die heat game. Excuse me? It's absurd, game. Mike. How, yeah. Because if they die, they still play like 75 more games. <laughs> no, 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 but no more in the in-season tournament. Oh, what a uh, big title. They yes. have to do. They cannot oh, yeah. die. No and one... they have to play the Bucks. Right. And if they lose to the Bucks, right. they die. Mm -hmm. Unless the Knicks also die, but by a certain number of points. Right. Do or die. Yeah. Uh, Greg and I were discussing this before the show, and I know Chris Cody is going to fight back on us, but no one cares about the in-season tournament. Nobody cares about the in-season tournament. It's Nobody. not true. You tell that Dan, to Jimmy Butler. You tell that to Jimmy Butler right now, who's taking the last couple of games off, but he's coming back right. for if, this one. If Even Mike is being sarcastic about this. What? I love how you're mocking the, oh, point different. This is how the World Cup works. You're okay when- I'm when, not when mocking. We, yeah. What about my tone suggests mocking? It's do or die. I'm literally all in on this game. It's a two TV night. He has not cared about – he didn't care. I think he missed playoff games. Didn't he miss Bucks games again? There he, is a playoff game tonight. Yeah. Do or die. A mm. prestigious yet-to-be-corporate-sponsored cup is potentially on the line. Mike, do you think if the Heat win the in-season tournament, Greg and I were discussing this because no one loves to hang things from the rafters like the Miami Heat. That, oh, they, that's a banner. Yes. Will that's they a hang banner? a banner? Are you suggesting it's not a banner? How about a parade? Yes, I would have an in-season parade. Okay, get out of here! In-season parade. Hey, hey, hey. parade. Yes. Dumpus Game Boulevard? I yes, guess, really. I get That's we, what a cup is. <laughs> oh, you, you are so myopic. This I get is, we, we are in the business where you got to have a take. Greg right. and Stugatz are doing the, I'm going to rip it. Mike's doing the sarcastic, I'm super excited about it. Why can't we just... Take it for what it is. I'm not it's a little. It it's puts not a, necessary. Like, That's what dumb. it is. But it's, it's made up. Then don't pay attention to it. Hey, guess what? If you don't care about it, it's just a regular season tonight. And it's got a bad name. It's just a regular season for you guys. You're okay? Right. You don't season. have to care it's about season. it. How generic. Why are you, B-I-S-T. What I mean. is your tone? I, Chris Cody, I care about it more than you. My tone is, why can't we just take it for what it is? Fans tonight at the arena are going to be chanting, I-S-T, I-S-T. It's, it's not the championship, <laughs> but it's more important than a regular season game. It's, there it's can not. be something it's in the not. middle. It, it, doesn't, it counts the same, Chris. No, it Let doesn't. me tell you something. Those words painted on the uh, Kaseya Center – key they mean nothing see i'd rather have if they don't doing. win tonight like I, what you're doing is the worst of ever all what of you're doing this i'm super sarcastic i'm, I'm so into sarcastic. this dan <laughs> did, you gotta I'm put the kids the, to bed tonight i'm a soccer fan i love mid-season cups my dad doesn't even know what it is and he was ripping it on the Greg i, I do know what it is right it's stupid it's stupid <laughs> explain I mean, the format how does it work tonight is important no, no. only because it's milwaukee not because it's some made-up tournament with a bad explain name. explain the Bingo. format of the in-season tournament to it's me. like group play and then you know you you finish first in your group or you make a wild card first two 
then then That's you advance. I mean, he's doing well. Yeah, they're they're you know they're two patterning nights a it. week. They're right? patterning it off after World Cup and and various other competitions, and they're trying to make something out of nothing. Good for them, I guess. But it's totally unnecessary. There's no reason for it. Don't do this to your dad because he knows everything about it. He just thinks it's a bad idea, and it is. And Fred. that's why I yelled at Christopher on my own podcast because he's trying to tell me that I'm making up stuff that I don't really believe. I don't that. think you give two sh- about the tournament either way. And I, you're on the you're on your podcast like it's it's a disgrace. It's like you don't give a. Okay, I didn't call it a disgrace. I called it totally unnecessary. It's a made up uh, something for no reason. Oh, how dare whatsoever. the league give you something else that you can care about? We're not saying it's as good as important as the championship, but it's more meaning than a regular passion. season it game. Love no, your passion. It isn't. Oh, shut up. This is great passion. It's more That's, meaningful because you buy into it. It's because you know? the cup. That's great passion. The NBA is trying to sell you something, and you're there gobbling it up just like they want you to. You know, and I'm there going, why are we having an in-season tournament? Right. And if we're having one, couldn't you come up with a better name for it than in-season tournament? Fair criticism. Good Greg, Lord. outside of the Milwaukee Bucks, can you name one other team in East Group B with the Miami Heat? Oh, knock it off. Oh, Who cares? I don't well, follow no, the standings no, because this, I don't no, care. But this is, no, be in this East is, no Group B. but I mean, what he, Jeremy just did a surgical thing. The New York Knicks. Attaboy. How okay. about that? You're Who welcome. said that in his yep. ear? Lewis? Nobody. No, he Nobody saw, said that in my ear. He saw a huge tournament game on Friday. That was wildly exciting. <laughs> no one knows the IST Saturday. like Greg Cody. It I was mean, exciting because they blew a 45-point lead. Go Heat. They really, they really, uh, the meaningful title for the Heat. That they was really a big loss that for them. Title. They probably cost, if they lose today, that loss against the Knicks cost them this in-season and tournament. And nobody cares. Ooh. I care. <laughs> you. I care deeply. Nobody the games, cares. They've happened. I've seen some. Right. I just hate everything. I want to leave. <laughs> this conversation makes me want to go home. Really? Are right, you we go got to a big you game go today. To the therapy couch, in Lexington, then. Kentucky. You go, you go to the therapy couch then, like your like your old man. Look, man, you got to analyze some of these Cody family issues. Yeah, because your old man is is a lunatic, and he did answer a couple of questions correctly. Thank but you. Jeremy did a surgical strike on Greg Cody, and this is the move that Greg Cody and Stugatz have been doing for ten years. <laughs> They could just always rip everything and not care, and everything is stupid. And then when you start asking questions, give me some of the details about this thing, their story will start to unravel. I didn't ask for these details. I didn't ask for the IST. I don't care about the IST. I, I know. You have, you, have, you have chosen in your late career profound indifference to not care about anything. I right. think you're rummaging through your pocket right now for what sounded like a pack of cigarettes. No, no ah. they're in the car. <laughs> it sounded like you were you, – but, Greg, you – are someone who is not necessarily faking your way through caring or not caring about this stupid thing. Right. But you have a strong opinion about something that you're not actually paying attention okay, to. Okay, that's you're not absolutely pouring, not true. You're not pouring any caring into it. Okay, I was asked about the format of the tournament. I recited it. I was asked, name another team in the group. I, I said the Knicks. East Bay 3 uh, or something? Do I care about the tournament? No. In advance of the tournament, I wrote a column saying all of the reasons that I didn't like it and why I thought it was unnecessary and not to mention it has a dumb name. Oh, Legacy Media. They have 10 years to come up with this idea. <laughs> and this idea, by the way, dated all the way back to the previous commissioner. So it's not all on Adam Silver. They have 10 years to come up with a better name than in-season tournament, and they can't do it. May I make one final attempt to sway sure. you? Yeah. Only two teams have punched their ticket to the next round of the in-season tournament. You have final day of group play happening today. 16 teams are still alive. You have something potentially today, if you care about these results with point differentials and whatnot, you essentially have a witching hour for the NBA if you assign any sort of value to this cup. If you assign any value but to it, right. tonight could be really exciting, especially as you get to the fourth quarter and you see all the permutations like, oh, Miami has to make up a seven-point differential. This is exciting stuff. Okay. Why can't Heat and Bucks just be exciting on its own? Why do we need gimmicks in the NBA? Yeah. It is exciting uh, on its own. I, I, you're complaining about something that's not taking away from your enjoyment of it, ex- unless you, you find the courts garish. Hats and, off and to they you. Are. I understand that. But this is Bucks Heat. Regular season game, that'll always kind of matter considering the recent history between these two teams. And now you have an added layer of window dressing. If you don't care, fine. 
God bless you. People like me who care deeply about this and oh, hold this stop. in very high regard <laughs> are going to be locked into that okay. and a clash of blue bloods in Lexington, uh, Kentucky. Okay. I've got two two sets of players that can potentially intrigue you into what's been going on here. So Steph Curry, when they played against the Kings in their game, said it felt like the playoffs. And that's somebody who's been to as many championships as anybody who's in the league right now Pretty outside of LeBron James. Pretty Company man. Great player. Yeah. Pretty good no, player. But, and then outside of that, I'll sure. give you somebody who Get you'll likely agree with. Yeah. Jason Tatum, mm -hmm. who Pretty doesn't like the in-season tournament, cool. right. specifically because of the point differential factor, because he feels like players trying to score at the end of the game and what should have been blowouts is disrespecting the game. Can yep. either one of you old men jump on this take? Disrespecting the game. Anybody? No, but I'll jump on Steph Curry. No one's going to convince me that Game 7 of the NBA Finals feels like an in-season tournament game. Nobody, and you're buying it. You're yeah. falling for it. I mean, that guy is a My phony. My dad, they are just so full of they do not give a crap. And Stugatz is probably doing that thing where all his fingers are the same size. He's waving them everywhere. And he just, it, he doesn't get, and my dad, he's just mailing it in at this point. I mean, he is just, I, I had to tell him about the tournament right before we had to take on the Grand Cody I, show. Yeah, I don't mail anything in. Yeah. Although, quite frankly, I did buy a book of stamps yesterday. Oh, for like nice. the first time in a year. That had to my, feel good. Yeah, my yeah. wife asked me to buy stamps, and then all of a sudden, do I want a flag? Do mm -hmm. I want a Christmas carol yeah. or a Christmas tree on my stamp? I don't care. Just give me a book of stamps. Mm -hmm. But this in-season tournament, I'm not violently against it. I just personally think it's dumb. I do not okay. respect the title. If, if my team wins that title, I'm not going to go to a parade. I don't want to see the oh, banner you, up you, there. You it's just a, don't like parades. It's a made-up title. I, I understand. It's actually real meaningful <laughs> money for two-way contract guys. <laughs> well, Mike, you would be embarrassed well, if they threw a parade. This is what Lillard <laughs> said. Players have been talking Lillard, about the money. Lillard said this. This is what's great about what is today, and they can be sour about it, but this is the explanation. What is today? It's Tuesday. Uh, it's, yeah, I, okay, but Stugatz, this is. I don't think Cole Swider wants half a million dollars. Stugatz, how do you think sports is going to evolve? The NBA wants in on the action. Red zone, NFL is way out in front. Give people, just hit them with a bunch of action. Money running up and down the court. Drama, excitement. This is the evolution. Hockey's already way ahead. They already they just did it this season. All the oh, games. Frozen frenzy. All, all, all the games at once. Here, what are you going to do to Addicted America on its phones? Overstimulate them. Throw a hundred games at them. Thousands of dollars running up and down the court. Yes, today's fun, Stugatz. North Carolina has emerged as a school to keep an eye on as a possibility for Max Johnson. <laughs> he's terrible. Mike Ryan hates Max Johnson. I, Mike stinks. Ryan. Mike Ryan. Has, I, I, now I, I hold so resentment much, against his dad. I watch so much. I hate Brad now. Texas A&M football <laughs> this year. No, it's Mike Ryan's fault. Lucy, you make that face, but it's Mike Ryan's fault. It's because Texas A&M gave Miami the belief, oh, that blessed week too, the best week of Mario Cristobal's life in Miami. Signature dub. <laughs> so uh, sad. That he tried to spend the rest of the season <laughs> convincing himself how good the Aggies actually were on defense, and if not for their quarterback play, Texas A&M would have been a quality win for the University of Miami. Mike Ryan tried to convince himself all season with his money, and I was betting Texas A&M, too. too. And I was betting Texas A&M, too, and I was losing because that defense wasn't as good as he thought it was. Hey, we, I think we ended up in the black. Dan, you got to start running this stuff by me ahead of time. I would have told you no way. Lucy's not, money in the bank, not college not football. Watch Texas I text Chris picks every Saturday. Yeah, Max Johnson was uh, – He's the type of quarterback that'll make you sweat a bat, and I, I don't like those types of quarterbacks. <laughs> There's a talented Texas A&M Aggie team, which I'm really excited about the new hire. You know, I went to College Station last year. Uh, I was forever changed. I am low-key an Aggie fan now. I have a Texas A&M group chat, and initially, oh, look, it's been a rough this week. Is, how many you have a chats? Texas A&M group yeah, give me chat? The number. Station. Give me, get my, this is the problem. I'm in eight with him. This is the uh, problem. You want in on Aggie Land? Your life no. sounds like a prison. Oh, oh, no. and, I, and I left the XFL chat like six months Mike ago. You did? <laughs> Congrats. Right before the merger? <laughs> that was the most annoying group chat of them all. <laughs> what? I'm adding you back. That's not cool. He left, Please Mike. Don't. Yeah. Taylor asked me yesterday. He's like, are you out of that thing? I was like, dude, a long time ago. just got a D.C. defender is signed to a practice squad, I think, in Atlanta. Is there, an in, is there an in-season tournament group chat? I, no, that's just like the See? regular central hub so one. So how much of a but fan are be, you, really? I, I mean, love you could have a group chat. I love the, but let me get back to my Aggie group chat, my beloved Aggies. How many people are in this chat? Uh, 
uh, the six. Okay. How Hold many on, people want to be in the chat? Hang on, one thing at a time. I gotta, are you I gotta sure, though? Are Chris you Cody sure it's six? This. Because it sounds like Chris Cody's no longer in the chat. No, that's, no, the, that's XFL the XFL chat. I've yeah, never been in the chat. I have 15 right before the merger. Yeah. 15 people on the XFL uh, that, chat. Mike, I, this is what I need. I need for you, before you... You know they're changing the name? I don't want to descend it's in your brand text. equity. I, I've had right. enough Why Texas would they do that? Mike, Mike. Listen, Hub Cities. I hate Hub Cities. He's crazy. He's as crazy as those Aggie people are. <laughs> Let's play that video because he's as nuts as that cult because they have a cult there. Stugans, they're paying Jimbo Fisher so many millions to go away. Mm -hmm. And and Mike Elko just learned what it is that place is. <laughs> he was a D coordinator there. Yeah, for he, a little he's bit. already yes. been there before. Right. He yes. knows what he's getting himself yep. into. And You're impressed I knew that, huh? Yes. <laughs> he my saw the buyout. He knows what's coming. Yes. In my college station. Fighting Texas A&M Aggies group chat. Oh, there are seven of us fighting Texas A&M Aggies. Right. None of which actually went to Texas A&M. How many besides you have sent an actual text, though? Oh, no, no, no. no. This one's pretty <laughs> active. You got my buddy Chi, Cowboy Carl's in there, D-Money. Uh, Cody. El Cisco. Uh, Cody, I think you should get back uh, there, Cody. I think, uh, <laughs> Greg, you should be with your, you should be with your son. Uh, do you Have you not seen the video? Do you not know? What is going on is perfect. We're going right. to put it on your tombstone. Okay. Uh, you don't know. <laughs> my what, tombstone's do you, crowded. Do you know any of what we're talking about? Do you understand what no. we're talking about? Okay, you, you don't know any out, of it. Wait, you actually did do this on the, this on the podcast. This week's Greg Cody Where show, we build out his tombstone. Were you not? Who needs me? What? <laughs> it had a great it had a, idea. It had a salt right. shaker. Hold on, great idea. Yeah. Okay, hold on. It let's just said me. Hold on. Let's do it. Live <laughs> remote. Let's plan it right now. It's crowded. <laughs> Let, it what, let's plan the funeral right now. Who needs me is going on the tombstone. Yeah, and that kind of thing. It also says owner of AMFFT. What was the? Yeah, yeah. America's most famous fantasy football. Yeah, that's right. on How about Zagaki? Uh, Zagaki's got a spot right. on there. It's and not, you'll have a mascot no, it's there. It's not just catchphrases. Right. Got the it's, foot with the toenail. It's not a NASCAR. It's not a NASCAR. you got to put a couple of meaningful things on there. Well, it's the forever. Front and center is BBWAA Baseball Hall of Fame voter. That's what <laughs> I, I don't even need my name on the tombstone. I just want that. And, you know, calmly racehorse owner. Uh, you know, what? eight time no, you PMPI want race, champion. You, you want Excellent. race horse owner? Yeah, this is I your obituary, not your tombstone. No, this is, I'm telling you, his no, tombstone, tombstone, he wants all his just whatever he's yeah, done. It's a he resume? Said it was, yes. He said it was crowded. It's One, a resume? Once traded yeah. Dan Marino. Yeah. I get I get to to you know concoct my own tombstone. What about that? Can we throw that on and it's an asterisk at the bottom of it? Can we make a bet that negotiates the the ability to put on that tombstone an asterisk that says once traded Dan Marino for for Scott Mitchell? No, sure. no, well, that didn't in happen. favor of. That he, didn't happen. He did write Fins at 50. I mean. Right. And, <laughs> Again, and, though. Uh, and, uh, Pride the, of a Lion. The, the new book. He the goes, Pride that, of a uh, Lion. Uh, that, that book I wrote. <laughs> he forgot the title. <laughs> the Pride of a he Lion. He forgot the title. No, I didn't. Our listeners have come so strong buying that book. <laughs> yeah, they have. And Hell thank yeah. every one of you. Yeah. Uh, I always forget whether it's got a the on the top or not. It seems it like does. it should just be Pride of the Lion, mm. but it's the Pride you're of the Lion. You're criticizing your book title? In no. my dad's defense, they did put the the very small. Yeah, mm -hmm. Pride of a Lion. Good book. Only second to the pride of a fight in Texas A&M Aggie. Well, let's look at this because Greg Cody doesn't know what we're talking about. Greg, they need you in the back row to reenact the Elko Presser. They have weird pressers there. It's a cult. It's clearly a cult. It's a cult. It's like yeah. Arkansas. It's in plain yeah. sight. I've yeah. been my my wife can't stop watching these things. They can't. Mother God's over here. Uh, th these cults are fascinating. I love to the people. midnight yell. I love the culture over there. This is the there. one. This the is the one. Valor of Lucy, it all. Lucy, you're getting out there. You're get, you're, I don't know where you're going this week. Not there. <laughs> yeah, it's not going station. But you, you know what I'm talking about here. The cultish nature of college football. Is it represented better anywhere than it is at Texas A&M? No, Texas A&M is absolutely perfect. You take the cult aspect and then throw in a bunch of oil money, and you have Texas A&M. We'll put it in the middle of <laughs> nowhere in Texas. And <laughs> nowhere. You get PTSD. Nowhere. It's Tumbleweed. Like, Tumbleweed it's, you. It's like Waco, but with more money. Guys, yes. this is fun to do, though. Yeah, honestly. Oh, yeah, good sway. Oh, it's, it's, a, it's a good sway, yeah. And I think yeah. everyone – Everyone can agree hey, that if you're going to sway as a Texas A&M oh, fight, Nagy, hey, this is the week because everything has gone great. Okay. Every this whole search, expertly done, amazing stuff Money from our spent. Aggies. And I know Mike Elko isn't the sexiest name. Hell, yeah. I just Yeggo. had to Google to remind myself of it. It's fun. But after after <laughs> chewing on it a little bit, I actually think he could be our Spurrier. Money well spent. Uh, what Yeggo. do you? Lucy, this was a good hire. Everybody was excited. Not another stoops. Not another stoops. No, this is a good hire. 
Um, we, we had a brief we moment no, on Saturday. Lucy, I'm sorry, forgive me. You're going to need to sway if you don't okay. mind. Well, the analysis has to be Ooh, good, but I, this yes. This is going to be nauseous. Yes. So I was, we had a brief moment on yeah. Saturday where we thought they were going to hire Dabo Sweeney. <laughs> that would have been awesome, but this is a close second. This is fun. Yeah, we're having a good time. I wanted uh, to rip I it. I love a good sway. I wanted to rip it, but this is fun. <laughs> the most exercise I've gotten in 10 years. Yeah. We did. Yeah. Whee! No, it is fun. Oh, it is. It, it, it is. Their uh, their celebration kept going for a while there. There was a lot of videos from that. It's a it's a it's a cool little place. Arkansas can do the same stuff though. No, they they do hog calls. They are a little different, but still special. <laughs> special. Woo, pig, suey, Razorbacks. We were all introduced to that with a Bobby Petrino. I think presser so where he left in the middle of the night, and I think he left post-it notes on players' lockers. Left the Falcons, yes. Yeah, he just taped a letter up. I the, Arkansas saw that. But the, there oh. is a... Oh, geez, oh. awful. Wow. God, I'm uh, <laughs> They went on to sing and chant some more. Great traditions over at College Station. I like, I, Chris, I like, you, I like you supporting his bad dad jokes or his bad jokes like that. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> we'll try that toss again. Great traditions over at Texas A&M. Giggle! There will come a payday, hallelujah. That song is so good. I was singing it for a week. <laughs> and that character is so good. That show is so good. Who was it that said the other day that no one watched Righteous Gemstones? That can't be true. That cannot be true. Well, you got four of them right here. <laughs> I like that show. I mean, how can you not like that show? <laughs> Five. Army's growing. <laughs> that show That show did two and a half minutes to open uh, with Baby Billy, to, a song that was well done, cheesy, awful, wonderful, as he was a poolside preacher uh, in one of the smartest religion shows ever done. And you're going to tell me nobody watched it? That can't be true. There will come a payday, <laughs> hallelujah, what a payday. There will come a payday someday, someday. I was singing every night. We got to get my man, Coach Elko, a tailor in College Station. The fit did not inspire confidence. What are you talking about? Oh, you, you should see the pictures no, from the field. No, but you my don't man, need to look presidential. My man had to get put together real quick, and we'll we'll excuse him on that one. But Honey, where's my suit? <laughs> Time to play that game. Does it still fit? <laughs> oh, the football season to ravage one of the, some of these coaches on the eating habits. Look at that. Yeah, I mean, look. The sweatsuits I, get as, long, bigger and bigger. As, fast food. as a perennial loser of, does that suit still fit? I can, I can really empathize with all the work this top button is doing right now in Coach Elko. That is such a funny game. Uh, what did the pandemic do to this body? <laughs> it's all that. It's like my first, I told you, my first thought when someone I, that I love dies is not, oh, it's like, crap, I got to fit in a suit. But, Mike, he just had a presser a year ago at Duke, didn't he? Like two years ago. You did a good job at right. Duke. Oh, uh, Mike and I were actually talking about this off air yesterday because I know these things seem great fun. Look at this. Power broker, middle of Texas. He's going to rule the world. Look at this buyout money. They're kings. College football is king. Uh, these jobs seem awful. Awful with NIL money? Like these these jobs were awful before, but now you're bringing all the problems that come with money, and now you got players who deserve to be paid and you don't have the power you used to have? I would not want to be a college football coach right now if you paid me all of the money in the world. That's because a dumb I, decision I've, by I've you. Got to you chase, wouldn't want to be Tom Allen? I've got to chase around <laughs> kids, <laughs> yeah, and mind? I've got to win. Wait, at, some po- at some point around like $300 million, you're like, fine. I mean, Dan, you Go lose Aggies. and they buy you out and you're done working. I mean, that's it. I mean, but you're, you're almost incentivized yeah, to lose if, and be bad. But, but if you're competitive and want to win and money isn't the winning, if money's not the winning, if you want to be smarter than the next guy, more competitive, more noble, like if money's not the game, you actually care about football from there. I want to win. I want to be the best. Not about money. Like, if it's there that you care, you will make yourself a crazy person. Think about the vacation Frank Wright is planning, though, right now. Fighting all of these people for money. You have a lot of them doing it for the love of the game. You have Mario Cristobal (laughs) taking vacations? No. Uh, There's no no such thing as work-life balance if you are an effective college football coach. There's barely even life-work integration. There's a reason why, and it goes unreported, 
if you're a, a top program or fancy yourself to be a top program, you're paying coordinators more than they pay them in the NFL. Your analysts and your assistant coaching staff, they're going to the NFL for lesser paying jobs because of the nightmare that is college football now in this NIL landscape. And the COVID years also screwed it up. You'll actually get a little bit of relief once that leverage goes away. But it's 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 not an easy job at all. Why did you add me back to this XFL chat? <laughs>